Chicken's new arena mode is a battle challenge system. So players are able to create and test out creature combinations they've built. In the arena menu, we can see our initial setup interface. This allows us to select the creatures that are part of a team. We can also randomize or clear them. We can select the number of rounds. We can see aggregate stats. We can select which team to control. In order to power the new adventure mode, we've created a new creature collection system. This allows us to look at creatures we've discovered within the world, creatures we've subscribed to on the Steam Workshop, as well as our own creations. Now when I select a creature, I'm given the new creature inspection interface. This allows us to see a lot of data and information about what a creature can do in battle as well as the rest of the game. We get our full stat readout, health, attack, endurance, movement speed, awareness. All of these contribute to both how it will act in the world as well as how it performs in combat. Even more importantly, we can see which abilities this creature has. So we can see that in addition to the standard bite ability, they also have an egg missile and a stun squawk. Clicking any of these abilities will open up our creature ability interface. This lets us inspect specific abilities for this creature so we can see what's required in order to get this ability, what its cooldown is. We can also look at the ability gloss Glossary. This allows us to see all the different abilities that are available within the game as well as how I might be able to add a block in order to use it. So let's go ahead and use the double chicken. And then as opponent, let's give him something a little bit uh, easier to start with. Now that we've selected our teams of the Double Chicken versus the Ray Cat, we can see what happens. When you read a battle starts, you can see each side faces off against each other, and the creatures will immediately begin to fight. Now we can see that the double chicken easily handled that ray cat. So we'll stop the match there and we'll see what we can do about that. So if we go in and we edit the ray cat, we should be able to grant it another ability. So now we can see that the tail strike ability has been added. We could then face it against a different creature, the attack crab, which has far less abilities, but does have a power shield, which is quite strong. So let's go ahead and see what happens now. Now the attack crab has reflected the chicken's squawk attack, stunning itself and causing itself to damage, take its own damage back. Now the short cooldown time on the squawk allowed it to use it again, but now the, uh, the attack crab has a clear advantage already. And the attack crab has emerged solidly victorious. Now as a player I would be able to test these situations and then go ahead and modify my creature to see how it might perform better in future encounters. I could also create challenges for other players to attempt to defeat. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the arena. Today, we will be building ourselves some massive abominations with your assistance. We're going to be building those bootleg Pokemon, and then we are going to pit them off into the arena in a fight to the death. So guys, give me some Pokemon ideas. Scarchomp. We, got, we already start with Garchomp, Heatran. What do we got? Totodile? Ooh, Totodile would be pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and begin a total dial with the system that we've got. As you see, we've got various parts here that we can use of different creatures. So I think what we're going to do is use the turtle parts with the turtle neck. But let's go ahead and do a dragon mouth. How's that sound? Because he's got the big old jaw mouth, so I think a dragon mouth's gonna do really well. There we go. He's got little front arms, that's okay. The eyes going here. Uh, the Dragon Mouth, obviously. Dragon Mouth's like creature spit fire to deal great damage. So our Total Dial is actually gonna be a, a fiery Total Dial. Oh boy. There we go, guys. How do we do? So yeah, get a name. Give me some names. Turtle, Turt Doyle, Tittledill. <laughs> Tittledill is this this boy's name. There he is. 
I think. What's wrong with this leg? Got that stanky leg. But he's ready to go. We'll get the, uh, we'll get the tail going. Tail's so small in comparison. Good God. And there it is. Charizard. I love it. It is my precious baby boy. Oh, look at him. That's a big boy. Oh, my God. We'll be doing giveaways later on. You need 300 bread bucks to enter. If you have not won the 300 bread bucks, you can earn it by watching, by clicking the treasure chest, and also by betting on who's going to win. I've given everyone here already 100 bread bucks to play around with. All right, guys. Are you guys ready to know what this fight's going to be? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Four Dundles versus one Moltank. Who do you think's going to win? For those that don't remember what Dundle was, that's our ditto knockoff. But the betting has begun, ladies and gentlemen. So put in your bets right now. Exclamation mark. Bet zero if you think it's going to be the Dundle. Exclamation mark. Bet one if you think it's going to be the Moltank. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome, welcome back, back to the chicken bootleg Pokemon, Pokemon arena as we go in. The, the four Dundles versus one, one Moltank. Let's see who's, who's going to win. win. Oh, my oh God. God. Oh, the, the Ram, Ram ability. ability. One's, One's gone, gone flying. flying. And then charge it again as that Dundle goes down and is knocked out. The mole tank is the winner here, ladies and gentlemen. Grouping them together and charging was not enough. As the Tildale, oh my god, all of them getting hit by that Dragon Breath. One dying immediately as they all begin to tear into the Tildale. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow! Tildill at the last fraction of health still manages to survive the fight. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. What a fight.